have the Hyderabad Masala Dosa and the Mysore Masala Dosa. It is summer in New York City. It's outdoor fun and today it's going to be a special episode. We are going to take you to three different South Indian vegetarian places. Oh yeah, so our first stop is right here. It's a legendary cart here in Washington Square Park, downtown Manhattan. It's our first time trying it. We've heard a lot about this cart. Ooh, we're so hungry. We're so ready to show this to you and try it. Whew. Let's do this. Special pandicherry and uh, one samosa, please. Sure. How spicy you like? Yeah. Spicy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank right. We're outside. <laughs> Sitting on the grass. Yeah, we're having a little mini picnic here at Washington Square Park. So we're here at our first stop of the day, the New York Dosa Cart. Ooh, this is one of the most famous carts in the city. The only one serving dosas out of a cart for over 15 years, making dosas. Oh, he's, he's making a fresh right here. He's a good yes. guy, awesome guy right here. We're excited to try his food. Let's go. So what do we get? We got special pandicherry dosa. And what is a dosa? It's a crepe made with lentil and rice flour, pure vegan. And it has inside potatoes and veggies. And what we have on the side, we have coconut chutney, and we have sambar. Sambar is the lentil veggie broth on the side. Ooh, it smells so fragrant. I smell cumin. You know us in cumin right now, you know? I might even take those, I'm taking a sip of the sambar first. This smells out of this world. I can't just smell it and not take a sip. Mmm. Oh, it's got some heat to it. Oh yeah. I could just drink a whole bowl of this. This would be perfect in the winter, but it's summer and it's still incredible. But to start off, we got a samosa. We are big fans of samosas. So let's see what they got here. Ooh, it's covered in this. Ooh, it's uh, spicy and we have chutney here too. I see, it looks like coconut flakes on this, but I got this nice saucy side right here. Let's take a bite. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm, wow. Yeah. There's a lot of flavor. You got that mashed potato in there. You got some veggies. Yeah, I see some peas and carrots along with that mashed potato inside. Ooh. Mm, wow. Got a nice hefty scoop here with that chutney and that hot sauce. I see some cumin seeds flecked inside. Oh, you know how we get down with the cumin. Always. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. That bite right there with the coconut flakes, oh. Coconut flakes take it to a whole nother level. Mm. I think it's about time to get down on this dosa because it's been sitting here. Calling and it, it's been calling our names for a while. Here we go. Here's the dosa right here. Mm. Mm. Oh, that coconut. Those coconut flakes, wow. I've never had a dosa that has coconut flakes inside. Usually it's just the coconut chutney on the side, but this is inside the dosa. That's some next level stuff right here. Mmm. Can we ask for it spicy? You could definitely get that spicy kick. If you like spicy, make sure to ask for spicy. So what's cool about this, you have the potato, but you also have a lot of veggies that give it a really nice crunch in this too. Wow, it's made fresh to order. So it's crispy on the outside. Mmm. Oh yeah, we got a slight of that sourdough kick, not too heavy, but this is a very unique dosa. This is one of the more unique that I've had. Mm. Oh. So the bite with the coconut chutney, so you already have the coconut flakes inside the dosa, then you scoop up the coconut chutney, it's double coconut. You love coconut like we do, can't go wrong with double coconut. And the more I eat this dosa, the more I taste that fermented sourdough taste that a dosa is supposed to have. Oh, it's so good. This is awesome. This cart lives up to the hype and then some. If you're in the city, come through. They open at 11 in the morning until they run out. So it's best to get here as early as possible so you don't miss out. It's how you start your day, right? Eat and eat and eat. 
yeah, this is a great success for this first stop. We were very excited to try it. It's gotten a lot of hype, and you know what? It's for a great reason. That was an awesome dosa. Highly recommend it. Set the bar high for our crawl today. Yes, can't wait to eat more. What's really cool about this cart, you can pay by cash, but you can also pay by Venmo. So that's what we did, because how often do you pay at a street cart with Venmo? Not often, so we did it. Smart idea. Yep. We've come to Queens and we're actually gonna need extra stomachs to help us in our next two stops. That's a fact. Are you YouTubers? <laughs> Remember I said when uh, we need more stomachs to eat more food? Ta da! Hi! Special guest! <laughs> Where are we? We're at a very special stop here. We are back in Queens. We're here at the Ganesh Temple. And it's not just a temple. There's something very special in the basement of this temple. And we're going to show you. It's full of temple goers. And you have some intrepid food explorers who come through here too. We first found out about this place from our good friend Joe Stefano. Big shout out. What's up Joe? If you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> he also does food tour here. Yes. Bring people downstairs. We told you there was something special in the basement of this temple, right? This is what it is. We're in the temple canteen. So it is an awesome spot for South Indian vegetarian food. Huge variety here, so many different dosas, and we have a lot more here. Ooh, we're so excited. It's one of our favorite places. This is another Queen's gem right here. We have a special guest here with us. He's my stepfather, hails from South India. He's gonna guide us through some of this food here. He's the one who's introduced this cuisine to me over the years. So he's also gonna be coming along explaining some of uh, history of uh, growing up in South India, eating this food. His name is Prem, and yeah, here he is. Hey guys, we have, this is the Hyderabad Body Masala Dosa, which is uh, a special dosa that's not normally available. It's got uh, green chilies inside and it's quite spicy. This is the Mysore Masala Dosa, which is the town where I'm from. And inside is a hot red spiced chili as well as potatoes. And this, of course, is the paper uh, dosa. All of this comes with sambar, which is a lentil broth, and also with uh, potatoes, spiced potatoes with onions and uh, mustard seeds. And of course, the coconut chutney is standard for all of these things. So you'll see the right of the idli, which is the rice cake, the vada, uh, and the dosa all come with the coconut chutney. And frankly, it's one of my favorite uh, favorite condiments. Masala Varda first. It's very firm. It smells good. Let's take a bite of it first. Mm. Oh, it's very crunchy. Just like these are curry leaves in here. So I'm gonna dip this in the coconut chutney. Mm. Oh yeah, I have that coconut chutney come in. Mm. It's quite nice, it's so crispy on the outside. It's a little softer inside, it's still pretty firm. Mm. In Mysore, this is a very common street food. Often in train stations, when you're pulling in for a quick stop, masala dosa is something the vendor will, see, will sell you as the train is pulling into the station. It's always hot, and usually with a little bit of chutney on the side. Number 47, number 51. So it makes it the Mysore masala, the red, the red spice. The potato makes it the masala. It's really good. Mm. Let's rip some of this off. Ooh, that red chili. Should I take it? I think so. Got some potato, and we have the crispy part. Take a bite of the crispy part before the potato so you can really taste the dosa. Mm. Ooh. 
Oh, that spice blend's excellent in here. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, red spice blend is so good. This is before we even hit the potato or this menacing red chili pepper. So now, I have it all together. Mmm. That soft potato. Now I'm going to add some of the coconut chutney. Mm. Ties it all together. All right, so we have the idli. It's pretty soft, spongy here, spongy texture. I'm gonna take a bite of it by itself. You always gotta try it by itself first. Mm. Oh yeah, you get that sour fermented flavor right away. Not too much, but it has that nice kick. This is definitely something you wanna sop in to one of these sauces, so let's go with the coconut chutney. You know us, we love our coconut. Mm. Oh, that's killer. It really absorbs the coconut very, very nicely. Really like a sponge. Now we're gonna have it with some of the sambar too. Mmm. That sambar is full of flavor. Wow, this is, I think I taste some cumin in there. I think I taste some coriander seed. It's delicious. The dal is the yellow gram dal, which is quite common for the sambar. And depending on which part of the south you come from, some sambars are very watery and thin. And this has got a lot more dal and thick. This is more what my mom used to make growing up. But this is my preference because you can put it on top of rice, you can put it with the idli. Oftentimes, they'll, you, on the restaurants, you'll get the sambar with soaking, soaked with the idli inside. You know, so you'll take a couple of idlis, soak it in like a bowl of the sambar, so it almost becomes like a soupy dish. It's really quite good. This might be a Jumi favorite here. I'll tell you in a second. Look at this beautiful green color. Ooh. It just smells very herbal, as you would expect in a green spice. So, ooh, that smells delicious. Mmm. Oh, you really taste that green chili? There's probably some cilantro in here, sorry. But <laughs> That's good. No cilantro. Oh my god, that is so right. This is so good. Mm. The cilantro is not too strong. That almost tastes a little spinachy, even too. It's very green and earthy flavor. And the chili, it's not that spicy, too, which is nice. This is awesome. I just love how psychedelically colored it is, too. So let's also dip some into the sambar. The sambar is a lentil curry, but usually with yellow gram dolls cooked and then you do some vegetables. Growing up was a standard in my house. <coughs> Either with dosa in the morning for breakfast or mostly with lunch on top of rice. Because rice in the southern part of India is very dominant, so we usually have a lot of plain rice with something to add on top. We use yogurt or sambar or some other peppery broth to put on top. So let's, let's talk a little more about the sambar and the flavors that are in here. Look at that, it's very, it's slightly liquidy, but it's full of vegetables. I see cumin seeds in here. Always, you just send out a cumin seed, it's like the bat signal for me, you know? Um, let's take, ooh, all right. So we're gonna have some just by itself here. Just gonna sip it. Oh, that is, that is just so much flavor. It's not hard to eat your vegetables when you have something as delicious as this. We, we're we just in love with South Indian and Sri Lankan vegetarian food. It's just full of flavor. If we were ever to become vegetarians, it would be in India or Sri Lanka because the food is just out of this world. Oh my God, look, look at this paper dosa. It's literally longer than my arm. All right, so what we got here, we got the showstopper right here, folks. This is the paper dosa. Why is it called paper dosa? Just look at it. It's rolled up, there's nothing inside. Unfurl it. It's very thin. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take a rip of it. Ooh, hear that crunch? Oh yeah. As always, gonna have some by itself. Mmm, mmm. Wow. 
This is killer. It's, just, it's so simple. Just that fermented flavor. It's really like a good sourdough. This is amazing. This is, wow. You could just keep eating this by itself all day. But you know it's going to go well with the sambar and the chutney. But I can't stop just eating it by itself. Wow. The, the paper dosa is usually only available in restaurants because they're the only ones that have a skillet big enough to make something this big. But also, what makes this different from the masala dosa, the masala dosa is thicker. It's got thicker consistency because beyond just the rice, flour, and the, and, and the lentils, it also has some cooked rice in it that gives it a real texture. This is just the rice flour and the or a dal, so it makes it very thin. It's a very hot skillet. Usually in the better restaurants, it's fried with ghee, which is the clarified butter. So you will taste a really wonderfully crisp crunch on the outside, but it's really great for dipping with the sambar and the chutneys. You know, you, like, like Greg said, you can eat it by itself, but it's just wonderful. Third so, stop. We made it to our third and final stop of the day. We had to go a long, long distance. Not really, <laughs> it's just right around the corner. We're here at Dosa Hut. So it's another long time South Indian vegetarian restaurant here in Flushing. And that's the beauty of Flushing here. A lot of people associate Flushing with Chinatown and Koreatown, which is valid, but also there's this small pocket here of Indian food, South Indian food and places of worship. So diversity of Queens, right? It's a beautiful thing. All right, so a fun fact is that the first spot we went to, the NY Dosa Cart, Thiru, who owns the cart, used to actually work here at Dosa Hut. So we've come literally full circle here today. And we are approaching the finish line with two more dishes. Here is the traditional vada, which is unlike the masala vada, it is soft inside. It's lentil flour from the little ring and deep fried very quickly. You can see some spices inside. And it's plain for the most part. And it's great with Coconut chutney, just like this. Mm. So like the fluffy, you can see how it all falls apart. Wonderful, it's hot, but not spicy, delicious. Mm. When you said spice, I think I saw a spice that we may love very much. Mm-hmm, there it is. Mm. <laughs> It also has that sourdough fermented taste. I love that. We're, we're huge fans of sourdough bread, sourdough pizza, any sort of sourdough kind of taste. And this has it, it's so good. But now let's soak it up with that delicious coconut chutney. Mmm. It's another one that absorbs it well. This one's a little greener. This one has more, more of a cilantro taste to it. And then more cumin seed. Good stuff. Onion pakora is one of my favorites. It was usually a snack that my mom would wake up late afternoon after we got back from school. And it's chopped onions, Assam flour, which is chickpea flour, some spices, some onions inside chopped up, green chilies. Really quite good with either coconut chutney, green chutney, which is like chili chutney, or my favorite, the tamarind chutney, which is kind of sour, sweet and sour. Mm. So what? Does it take you back? Oh yeah. Oh, this book I believe has some amchur powder, which is dried mango powder, which gives a certain sourness, which is not very common. I'm not the mom, what my mom used to make, but it's quite delicious. What we have here is the puri with the vegetable korma. The vegetable korma is a vegetable dish with, with some dal, some mixed vegetables. It's very thick, generally a side dish. But it goes really well with puri, which is a bread made with <clears throat> shortening and flour and then rolled into a circle and then fried in deep hot oil. It's really quite puffy and if you can see, it falls apart very nicely, very light, a little bit on the oily side and it goes wonderful with the vegetable korma. You can see all the vegetables, the cauliflower, the tomatoes, the peppers. Mm. So good, so good. <clears throat> and this is utapam. Utapam is a traditional batter 
uh, it's thick, it's quite dense, unlike dosa. Uh, and this particular version is with tomato and onions. And this brings back fond memories because my Achi, my grandma, they used to make us uthapam. We used to go to visit her this summer, and this is one of my favorite dishes. And with or without chutney, there's just so much flavor here with the onions, the tomato. Thick and dense, delicious. Try some good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get down on this uthapam. Mmm. Well, it looks very caramelized on the top, but the bottom is just very light and soft. Let's take a bite by so I'm gonna fold it like a pizza. Mm. Oh yeah, that, uh, that tomato is caramelized with the onion. The onion has a nice crunch. It's really good, it's light and very tasty. Mm. Now we have to go in with some of the chutney. Also, oh, everything today we had is so different. We are so stuffed. Oh my goodness, I've had a lot of doza for a year. Whew. Yeah, we had an epic day today. We hit up three spots Manhattan and two right here in Flushing, Queens. Oh, we had so many dishes, I can't even count them all right now. We're so full. Oh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our special guest, Prem. <laughs> It was quite delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. So please smash that like button on this video. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe, hit the bell. You want to be the first to comment, right? Yes, you do. See Thanks you soon. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Hey, what's the refund policy here? Do you know? Do you have a refund? There is no refund.